Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the Colts cleansing balm that one sells every 10 seconds. And we're going to do a little simple get ready with me for mature women's style. You ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I'm doing a get ready with me. This is almost like a weekend style because it's going to be very simple, but I have new products that I bought that I wanted to show you. I have the cult cleansing balm that was sent to me that I always mention, but it's a new limited edition. So I wanted to share some things before we get into our simple, simplistic weekend. You can do this anytime, but really this is like weekend for me. I've been rushing out the door a lot lately and I, I, it's not my style to do nothing, not my style. So I want to look like I am doing more than I am. That's like really what I talk about a lot on the channel, making it look like I spent a lot of time, but I didn't. So first and foremost, I'm going to talk about LMS sent me It's a surprise, just showed up at my door, the pro collagen green fig cleansing balm. I put this on my Instagram recently, was so excited to try it. Cause you know, I love the original. If you were looking for a spa like experience, I, you know, I don't have to mention that this is not sponsored. If I ever have sponsorships, which keeps my channel going and it's what I do. And it's really an honor to be paired with a brand. It's a good thing. This is something that should excite you because your YouTube people you watch are being able to partner and to do what they love. So this was sent to me as a PR gift. If anything is a partnership, I always say it's partnered. So I just want to call that out because I feel that uh, it gets really gray, right? It gets really gray. And I've said, for the most part, I bought 98% of my products. I'm not gifted like a lot of the other YouTubers. So I don't do PR hauls and stuff like that because they don't have hauls. <laughs> I don't have enough product for hauls. And that's just not my thing. I, I want you to really understand that and know that, that this is what I do. I'm an esthetician. I buy product, whether it is $5 or it's $500, because I'm here to do the research for you. So you don't waste your money or you get caught up in what, like everybody's pushing something because they're getting paid. I'm here. I partner with brands that I love that I'm passionate about. I worked with LMS a couple of times, but I've been talking about them for 10 years or so. I mean, to me, it's such an honor. Same thing with Quotely, same thing with Estee Lauder. It's such an honor because it's something I'm so passionate about. I buy their products, I use their products, I tell you about them. And then it's just the icing on the cake that I'm actually able to work with them. So sorry, I digress. This is the Green Fig Cleansing Balm. Wonderful for fall. If you love the original, which is such a spa-like experience, they also have the Extra Hydrating Rose Balm, which you know, goes without saying. And then they have a fragrance free, which is called naked. So when this showed up, I was like, oh my gosh, fig. Wow. How cool. So when you smell it, it's so different and it's really like still in that spa category, but it's nice. It's, it's definitely a limited edition. If this is something that you like and you want to try something else other than what, you know, you've been using, I'll tell you what it says. It says the latest addition to our cleansing balm collection featuring a limited edition green fig aromatic with one sold every 10 seconds. That's why it's just this whole cult product because you know i've seen in my comments below that you love this like you love this balm just as much as i do and it's wonderful could you put it on dry skin you work it in so now it starts melting off all your makeup spf pollution dirt you name it then you can wet your hands a little bit and then you work it in and it turns into like this milky cleanser it's so beautiful. And then you can take your washcloth and take it off. You have this really hydrated skin afterwards. I'm very much into balms. You can use this as one of your cleansers. If you're doing a two-step cleanser, you can use the balm and then go into your other cleanser. So you can do the two-step, which I like to do a lot, but I use the balm first to melt off everything on my skin that says that they have the three unique textures for the ultimate cleansing experience, decadent balm to nourish, luxurious oil to cleanse, so I, like I said, when you get it wet, it turns into like this milky oil and then restoring milk to hydrate. So it goes from the balm to the oil to the milk. You'll love it. I'm telling you, I've been using this for years. I have all of them. And now I have the fig, which I'm really excited about. Get you in that kind of fall feeling. So that is one thing that recently came that was gifted to me. I didn't know Amazon had a luxury department. So they have a luxury beauty department and the packages come differently than your regular Amazon, which I was very surprised. I opened it up to black tissue paper and a little sticker and then like this little note card. And I was like, wow, this is so different because usually my Amazon packages are like thrown, <laughs> beaten to death 
And then it's like, is my product still inside the bag? I would really like this. And it, then it came in a black bag that you open up and you have your products. So I bought the Noble Panacea. This is an investment. I mean, it is a product that is on a higher price point, hence luxury beauty on Amazon. So I had seen this a while ago and I wasn't quite sure about it. I, I saw it in the magazine. I, I liked the, I thought that the packaging was different and interesting, but I wasn't sure when I saw the price tag, I'm like, wow, like next, <laughs> that's what I always do. Until I actually research who created it, what's the story, what's the whole concept. And this is called the Exceptional Vitamin C Booster. It has OSMB technology. So this is created by a chemist that has won Nobel Prizes. And I was very interested. I'm very interested in chemists, just like La Mer. Like he burned himself in the lab and then he created Creme de La Mer. And I'm like, yes, because he had a need. There was something that happened and he created something for himself. So I, I find that to be very interesting when there's something that goes on with the actual person that created this product, especially as a chemist. So the technology behind this is very interesting. As an esthetician, again, I'm very interested in that. I want to know what's going on with this. It's not just marketing. It's just not thrown out there. There is substantial research with this product. So it comes, I picked the vitamin C because I want to work on brightening. I know that vitamin C is very unstable. So I was very interested in how they formulated this product. So it comes in this a little bit heavier, this plastic, and it opens up like this. So if you are a traveler, you are going to love this because they're individual little packets. So this is your vitamin C. And you know what I really love about this is that you're not gonna over dispense. I always would see my clients over dispensing product because they felt like, well, if a little bit's good, then a lot's even better, which is not. Like you're over dispensing, you're wasting product. So this is the vitamin C booster in this little packet. And then um, you can refill this. You can just buy the refills and stick it in there. So I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to be trying this um, that I bought. And then guess what? Now I'm like a, I'm a cotton connoisseur. I have the clay de peau. I decided to buy this cotton because it has silk in it. I got an actual letter from one of my followers and she said that she was telling me how La Mer was sold at Costco. And then she said, you need to try the Clo de Po silk cotton. And I was like, okay, here we go. So I haven't tried it yet. We're going to try it together today. I will just do a little swipe with my eyeliner, but this is the little box. It comes in four little squares here. We'll see how it compares to my Shiseido. You know, I did not like the Chanel cotton, love the Shiseido. And now we have a new one. So hopefully we'll be onto something new. So that is what I did. One other product that I bought that is an exclusive for, you can only buy the city exclusives in September. September, this is why I'm going to mention it to you, is that Le Labo, I showed you my Rose 31 perfume last video. This is something that I actually bought this when I was in Los Angeles back in 2019. I was doing the Ipsy campaign and I went to one of the Le Labo uh, fragrance perfumeries and they make it right there for you and they bottle it and then they write on the actual bottle, the date and where it was prepared for you and your name on it. So I wanted to, I know the city exclusives, they have an exclusive fragrance for each city, whether it's Paris, Chicago, New York, Miami, Hong Kong. It's really interesting. And you can buy them online on Le Labo for just the month of September. So normally you'd have to go to that city to buy the actual fragrance. So I watched so many YouTube videos. I did so much research. Fragrance is so personal. So you know, you know, I'm into like the whole rose situation. It might not be for you, what have you, but I was really leaning towards the vanilla because I thought I could mix it with my other fragrances from Paris. But I ended up getting the Bay Rose 26. I know it's new, but this is the Chicago fragrance. And I really wanted to document the repackaging and reformulation of Nicole Beauty. So on here, it says for Nicole Beauty established 2023, because that's when my whole new line launched throughout this whole entire year. So I wanted a fragrance that really timestamped that. So I always remember where I got the Rose 31. I actually got a Louis Vuitton Rose perfume when I was on a staycation. We stayed at the Ritz Carlton South Beach last year. We went to Wynwood and went to Louis Vuitton and I bought the, the Rose one. I know it's like, what's new, Nicole? Like everything, like deviate a little bit. I have, I have shown you some things that are not Rose, but this is peppery. Cause when I first smelled it, I was like, what? But they say it's like jazz club, like very, it's very, very interesting. It definitely has very different notes. So when I first sprayed it, I was like, ah, <laughs> what? But then I wore it and then it, you know, it's, it's kind of like it's getting into the groove. So I'm very excited about that. But again, you can only buy them the month of September. They open it up. Just letting you know, 
it was an investment for me, but I bought it for my birthday, which is next month. So that was that was something that I wanted to do to timestamp this experience of Nicole Beauty with a fragrance. So yes, we've talked a lot. It is, um, you know, exciting when you get new, new beauty, new products, what have you. So I'm going in to get ready with me, right? So I just woke up and you see it. This is, this is what we get. And I would be taking off my frownies that are on my forehead. I've talked to you about this, about the Botox alternative. I'll tell you what, this is like a hundred years old. This does work. I was really thrilled when I found them and I bought them. I think I told you I found her on TikTok. I think, I don't know where I found her, but these all, I, I did a whole video. I'll link it here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but I feel like Wonder Woman because I create this like cast on my forehead at night and then I take it off in the morning and I'm like, yes, you did the magic. Smooth, smooth, smooth forehead. So frownies come off. And now what I do is I don't wash my face anymore in the morning because I put on such amazing products at night. I don't want to keep doing the cycle where I'm taking off all of my really nice oils and everything like that. I will put on, this is something that I like to do with my Chanel. This is Jasmine oil. I just bought it because I was buying, I was actually replenishing my hand moisturizer. You might say, wow, that's so expensive. What have you? Okay. It only dispenses a little bit. Like when you squeeze it out, like that's how much you get. And it does both hands. I keep this in my purse. This lasts me six weeks or maybe eight weeks or what have you, because I don't use this that much of it. But I have to tell you, I use it in the car on my cuticles. It's amazing. And when I was purchasing it, I decided to purchase the Jasmine oil because I wanted to try it. But I have to tell you, this smells great. It's not overpowering, what have you. It's not sticky and slimy because I've tried that before with lots of lots of different lotions where I can't get it to go in and then I don't want to touch my steering wheel or my stuff or what have you. This has been the best hand cream that I, I bought that I really like. I did the nighttime one also, but I'm using La Mer now. So I want to cycle through that. I'll go back to the Chanel nighttime. Also, I wanted to tell you, I went through mine and I was like, well, I'm sure there's some more in there. So I cut this not knowing it was an airless pump in here. It's like a little bag that shriveled up. So it was very hard to cut, but you know me, I have to get every single last drop, which could be a video coming up. So I cut it open and there was nothing in there because <laughs> I used it all. That is something just to keep in mind to not cut it open like me. So I'm going to just put a little uh, Chanel oil on my face and I would do... I'm not going to do the whole routine with you, but this oil is nice because it's light. I get that dewy look to my skin, but I'm not over, you know, it's not too much. It's not too much moisture. I want that dewiness because I'm not going to be putting on a ton of makeup. So you can go in now because you have the perfect priming with your gua sha. So this is the morning that you are depuffing, draining the skin, you know, really massaging if you have TMJ or you're really stressed. You can really feel the benefits when you're doing this on your skin. You'll see that I do have that blood circulation. So you could do this whole routine with your gua sha. You do still take time. I'm not saying you rush through this and it's one minute, but I'm just doing something very simple. So in order to get my face just kind of primed and prepped after my oil, I will go in with my eye primer. This is my new formula. You'll see I have a bigger pour for you. You're getting more product. So I don't know if anyone actually noticed that but I'm going to neutralize out my eye. This is what is really so important because I don't even know what this is as we are getting older. It's just getting darker, <laughs> trying to turn back the time with my eye primer. So we put this on. Eye primer is on. Now what I'll do is I'm not going to put on any um, eyeshadow, what have you. I'm going to take my Nikita banana. This is my pressed brightening powder and I'm going to just set my eyes. I'm going to take my brush here that is in my uh, central makeup brush kit. It's called powder brush or your blush brush. And they're all labeled on the, on the handle. So you don't get confused. So I'm just going to set my eye primer. Cause as you know, it is designed to be working with an eyeshadow. It's not it's not designed or formulated to just be on your eyelid. So I'm going to set it. And then now I have really nice, bright eyes. So what do I want to do? I want to just line a little bit. I'm going to show you how I line to get the maximum payout and not look like I really lined my eyes. I'm going to do my eyelash curler first. Lashes are up really important when you're doing like hardly any makeup. Now I'm going to take my charcoal. I know it's a little bit of a spin. I thought you probably thought I was going to take dark chocolate, but I'm going to take, I want the, the most kind of de definition and I feel that charcoal will be fine day or night. It doesn't matter. 
you can do this. It, it's just preference. You can do something else if you want to. Let me go in here first so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm just going to go to the base of my lashes. This is going to focus, but I'll come back to you so you can see what I'm doing. We can come up close. I'm going right into my lash line. So it's almost like I'm creating a thicker line. And with how pigmented these are, I can literally dot in between my lashes and you're going to get that thickness. You don't need to go above. You can literally go in the lashes. You are filling in all those little spots that you see, you know, that are doesn't make maybe your lashes are a little spotty. So I'm going to come to the end and wing up. Like, you know how I always lift the eye. Don't worry. See, this is very, very minimal. I'm going to take my smudge brush that I like to call my eraser brush and I'm going to just smudge it up. I'm going to just drag this across my eye like so it's almost like you are giving this really nice structure. Again, look, did the eye primer set it? Now we have this really beautiful bright eye. And then I'm going to just give that extra with the liner. Again, you can do plum, navy, dark chocolate, or charcoal. I felt like doing charcoal because I felt like I don't have anything on. I want to have that definition. So this is what I'm doing here. We'll do the other eye. Now we have the eyeliner on, going to do mascara, very important. And then we're just gonna clean up the skin. Taking volume up, this is my mascara that has this really beautiful wand at the end that's going to really comb your lashes. Comb and deposit this mascara. So we're going to front load. Now it's really about the lashes because I only have a liner on, no eyeshadow. So I'm going to go to the base and really separate my lashes. Mascara is on. What's really nice is that you're defining your eyes, but you're not adding a lot of weight or makeup on your eyes. So now it's all about perfecting the skin. You have to be very careful if you're using an oil and then you use the uh, just peachy because it has shea butter in it. You don't want it to slip and slide. When you're, when you're using an oil, you have to be very, very specific with the products that you're using to not run into that problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer that is launching in October. I'm going to take the color light. I'm going to show you how you can just spot treat your skin and make this work for you as a concealer. Now, if you have more areas that need to be covered, you can use a Just Peachy if you have some pigmentation and what have you. I'm just gonna go around like really important areas that I know I would like to cover. So I'm going to go underneath my eye area here. I'm going to go over here. Now, again, I love this domed tip because you can do it on the side and you can roll it back. You can see how much product that I got on the tip when you first pull it out is when you can go into, let me do that for you. So if I dipped it in, you're gonna get it right on the tip. You can see all of the product on the tip. So you can nicely and easily get areas that, you know, you want to all these like little pigmentation spots on the side. I can get them more precise with the pigment being right at the tip. But I love the fact that you can really roll this and it really works with you. There's no right or wrong way to use this. And it's really easy when we're a little bit compromised with our hands or they're shaky or what have you, you can roll it. It's going to work with you. So basically what I did was I tried to find all the areas. I can go back with a little eye brightener if I want to, but I just wanted to find, you know, really kind of get like all these pigmentation spots on the side where I have most of my sun damage, just really spot treat more of the inner part because we'll spread it out to the, to the outside of the face. So this is how I have gotten away with not having to do full face of foundation. Again, everyone's different with the level of pigmentation or what you're working with. So you could accommodate with a color corrector first and then doing your your concealer to work as your foundation. But what we're trying to do is really just brighten the skin and target those darkest spots. So I'm going to take my foundation buffing brush. I'm going to go underneath my eyes, come out, and then just keep spreading the product out because the concentration of it should be in this main T zone where it's red, dark, grays. And then on the outer side, I do have a little bit of this pigmentation, but it's going to all smooth together. Now, if I felt that the eye area needed a little bit more brightening, I can go in with my eye brightener that comes back in in October, twist up at the bottom. It's a little click pen. You don't want to click too much because it will start rapidly coming out, but I have enough right here. 
that I can just do a little spot treatment. This will be more of a color corrector. And then I can go back in with my concealer lip duo. So you have a concealer brush here, and then you have a lip brush on the other end. So this will be more precise, getting up into that corner and getting underneath, bringing it down. So if that is your main concern about darkness in the inner eye area, underneath the area, you can do a little extra at the end. And then I'll just dust again with my Nikita Banana. I wanna set everything that I just did, a little bit more coverage. This is just going in the T-zone area. And then we're going to put on a little St. Bart's. This is my cream blush stick coming out in October. So many new launches, ladies. I'm telling you, sign up for the newsletter. This is where you're going to hear about it first. Again, remember, my dates always keep changing according to the lab, according to the shipping logistics. So I don't really know either. So when I know, I'm going to first put it in my newsletter to all of my existing customers VIP list, and then it will come out here on the channel. So that's when you're going to know the behind the scenes. So I would highly suggest you do that. So this is a really beautiful, this is a new color for us called St. Bart's. We have the Palm Beach, but we wanted something that was going to be a little bit more on that petally, just fresh rose look for your skin. So if you love that, it just looks so natural. So this is really nice too. You can take this and you can put it on your eyes if you want to too. You can put it on your lips, it's up to you. It can be used as an eye lip cheek trio. Now for the lips, something very simple. You can take silk, which is very, very natural, like your go-to, or you could take rose all day if you wanted to, even cameo or organza. But I'm gonna show you what I do where it comes to just getting your lips just, just simply ready. You're gonna go right to this area here, the front part here and then to the bottom. So you don't have to do all this whole lining, what have you, take it and just smooth it down. So you've taken the majority of this product that you put at the top, you do a nice drawing out your, your lips underneath here, right? So you've got the structure, then just drag it to the ends, like just so it's soft, but you get the definition, but it's not over the top, right? Because again, we have minimal makeup on the on the eyes, nothing on the eyes, mascara, liner. So we don't wanna have this, this lip that's just too much. I'm going to use New Beauty as my lip gloss. This is a new color for us. It's just really fresh. I think that I see a lot of you picking this color which makes me excited because it is new, but it is so just pretty and natural. I think that it's the underdog in my lipstick collection because it's new and I don't I haven't shown it that much, but it is one of my go-tos for just that fresh, really just pretty, not over the top, not in the pinks, not too dark, not too bright. Just it goes with that fresh kind of pared down look. So this is it. This is what I do. Oh, I didn't try my cotton. We're gonna have to try that in the next video. But this is what I do where I am teaching you, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, but these are some tips for you to understand like, oh gosh, I'm like rushing. I don't wanna do anything, but I don't feel comfortable showing up on Zoom like this or going to the market or what have you. Use that concealer, make it work for you. Use it as you're targeting those dark spots, targeting the darkness underneath your eyes, what have you, and then spread it out. With my concealer, I made it so I knew we needed that hydration, right? As we're aging, our skin is getting so dry and we want to have it hug the skin. I don't want it to sit on the skin. So I wanted it to be where it, it moved with the skin, it hugged the skin, but it was still moisture and still felt good at five, six o'clock at night. So this has been a long time in the, in the making, ladies, with me formulating this. Everything down to that wand, being able to roll, hold the pigment at the top so we get right in there. We don't have so much on our eye or oh my gosh, there's too much and you're taking, you're wasting product. So this is something that you can do that will build that confidence, not using that much. I mean, what did we do? Three products on the eyes and then we have a little fresh lip, little cheek, which is easy. Take this with you on the go, freshen up if you want to, add a little bit to your eyes, maybe your lip, what have you. I just think that you have so many options where you don't have to be doing a lot of makeup, but still feeling very confident, very beautiful. Over 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. There is no stopping you. You're still going, still looking beautiful, still enjoying doing makeup, whether it's just the mascara, just the lip gloss. So let me know, do you like a simple look? Do you, do you want me to do more combinations like this? Let me know in the comments below. And until my next video, I'll see you later.